Today's video is going to be a look at Lumerol foaming oil based surfactant and we're doing a collab with Tara Lee. So keep watching and find out what we made. Hi, so this video is a collab with Tara Lee. If you don't know who she is, I'll let her introduce herself. Hey, what is up? My name is Tara and my YouTube channel is Tara Lee. I'm a self-taught skincare formulator. I've been formulating for over five years now and I've used my channel as a place to basically document and share everything I've learned about formulating along the way in hopes to make it easier for other people out there like me to also learn how to formulate. I have countless unique formulas on my channel, so once you're done here, pop on over there, don't forget to subscribe, and then binge watch some content. All right, thanks, go subscribe to my channel, bye. So if you've not abandoned this video immediately to subscribe to her channel, I don't blame you if you have, then stick around because we're making a couple of products using Lumerol K5229. If you've not seen my other videos using Lumerol, then check out these videos later, I'll link them below. Um, Lumerol K5229 is a waterless blend of ionic and non-ionic surfactants that hold water well. So when Lumerol comes into contact with water, it self-emulsifies into an oil and water foaming emulsion that cleanses the skin, creating a beautiful oil-based product without the need for other surfactants. Um, this means that you can make anhydrous foaming body washes, shampoos, body scrubs and shower melts. Um, Lumerol K5229 is available in the UK from either the Soap Kitchen or from aromantic.co.uk. There are other Lumerol blends, um, but this is the one that you want for this purpose. So let's get on with the recipes and then I'll hand over to Tara. Here's the first recipe I'm doing. We're going to do a shampoo. Um, the first ingredient I'm going to use is fractionated coconut oil. Make sure it's fractionated because you want the liquid version, not the solid. Um, it's very effective at moisturizing and softening the hair and it won't leave your hair feeling oily. Then I'm using argan oil as it deeply moisturizes the hair and acts as a detangler. Then macadamia oil, it's extremely lightweight, won't leave a greasy feel. Um, it helps to uh, prevent damage, frizz and tangles. Then I'm adding vitamin E and also some essential oil. I'm using sweet orange as I just can't get enough of the smell at the moment, but you can use whichever essential oil or fragrance that you'd like. And then mix those together and add them to the rest of the oils. Give that a quick mix just to combine all the oils together and then we can add our Lumerol which is what's going to give us the beautiful foaming texture of the shampoo. Now you want to mix this together really well um, but very gently because you don't want to create loads of foam and bubbles and then once that's all combined you can pour it into your container of choice. I'm using these glass dropper bottles as I just find it's nice and easy to dispense in the shower without getting water in the bottle. Um, so just fill that up and it's ready to use straight away. The Lumerol does do a good job at cleansing, but since this is an oil-based shampoo, um, I'd recommend it for infrequent use. And obviously if you have hair extensions, don't use it because you want to keep oil-based products away from the bonds. So, Here's some old extension hair, looks a bit ratty, but uh, I'll just use it to give this a little foam test for you. So just wet them thoroughly, dab on some Lumerol. You really don't need much of this shampoo because it, it does foam up and the more water you add, the more it foams. Um, so uh, yeah, it should last quite a long time. So here's our second recipe. Uh, I'm going to do a foaming body scrub. So first ingredient here uh, is our Lumerol. Um, put that in a beaker and set it aside. 
then I'm using coconut oil fractionated again uh, and then jojoba oil and shea butter um, and this is going to be our, our oils then I'm using a bit of vitamin E again and fragrance oil I used palmer violet but you can use what you like you can literally use any oils that you want for this uh, it's just personal preference and then the exfoliant is going to be granulated sugar and some poppy seeds so now that's all weighed out uh, let's add it all to our beaker so in goes the shea butter and the oils and then we're going to heat those gently on a bain-marie to melt down the shea butter so now you want to heat your oil phase um, put that in a bain-marie a bain-marie is simply a pan full of hot water about two inches and you place your beaker inside to control the heating process so next you want to leave that to cool and then you can add in your cool down ingredients once it's 40 degrees c or less um, so we're adding our fragrance and vitamin e and then also our lumerol then you can add your colour. I'm adding a bit of neon blue and neon purple pigment dispersed in oil. Um, if you're in the US, you're best off using mica because um, I know there's regulations around neons. So add that in and give it a good stir to disperse and you'll see that the oil changes colour. Once the colour's fully dispersed, you can add your sugar and your poppy seeds and mix thoroughly. At this point the texture will be quite loose and oily, uh, don't worry too much because the shea butter will firm up as it cools down, uh, so leave it overnight and then you should find the texture is a bit more like this. If you still want it firmer then of course add more sugar and then just adjust your percentages accordingly. And then you can fill your jar and it's ready to use. I've not added a preservative to this because obviously it's an anhydrous product and it does have a high content of sugar um, but I'd suggest if you do want to sell these um, for your business um, then always include a preservative because people will be putting wet fingers in in the shower um, and it's, it's just better to be safe than sorry. Don't forget to sell products in the UK you do need a cosmetic safety report. So let's do a quick foam test. Uh, apologies, I haven't really got this in frame very well, but you get the idea. Um, the more it gets wet, the more it foams. Uh, it's, it's just beautiful. Um, you can up the Lumerol content if you wish, um, but you don't need to. You get a lot of foam with a very small amount of Lumerol. And here's the finished product. So there you go, a shampoo and a body scrub that create a beautiful cleansing foam using Lumerol. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, I do try and post videos pretty much every week. I'm going to give this over to Tara now, um, because she's going to make another formula for you. Thanks so much for sending this over Jenna. I have not been able to find it from any suppliers in the US, so I really appreciate you doing this for me. Also for this collaboration, I'll be recreating a formula Jenna made with the Lumerol. It's the foaming shower oil, and I'll be changing up the formula just very slightly, but you guys will see once you go check out my channel. So I'll see you over there and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thanks.